Today I've got a question for you. Okay. Have a look at this. This is a circle. This is circle's center right over here. And this is these are the angles. This is 60 degree. This one. And this is 70 degree. Okay. Now the task is you need to find all the angles of this triangle. Okay. Give it a try. Pause the video and give this a try. Okay, so now that you have attempted it, let's do this together, okay? Okay, this one is trivial. Okay. You can easily use the property that all these angles will add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so this will be 50 degrees. Alright, 60 plus 70 plus 50 is 180. Now here comes the interesting part. Uh, when we need to find these two. Now I'll do a construction here, okay? Now here is the important part. If I draw a line like this, okay? And like this. So effectively I am drawing the radii. All the radii. 1, 2 and 3. Fine. Now the important thing is, all these 3 are equal. We have the same circle, all the radii equal. And now we are going to use few properties to find these two. Now look, this is a tangent. Fine. So this and this thing, this tangent will make an angle of 90 degrees with the radius. So this angle must be 90 degrees. Okay. So this angle will be 30 degrees. And this angle will be 20 degrees. Similar, sim we use a similar logic. And any always also 30 plus 20 is 50. You can see it from here. Now look, if these two sides like this triangle, okay. If these two sides, this one and this one, they're equal, which means this is an isosceles triangle, and these two angles will be equal. It's a property of isosceles triangle. So this one will also be 20 degrees. Similarly, this one will be 30 degrees. Okay. Now we can find the entire triangle, but here's the thing. I want you to remember this. This is a circle. Okay. And we have got something like this. This being the center. You re might remember this from your uh, ninth standard uh, property of, of circles. If this angle is x, this angle will be 2x. 2 times this angle. So if this angle is 50 degrees. Okay. This angle will be 100 degrees. Right? 2 times 50. 50 is this one. 100 is this one. 2 times 50. Again, look at this triangle. This triangle is also an isosceles triangle. You see? These two sides being equal. So these two angles will also be equal. Alright? And this will be, you can work this out, 40 degrees. This will also be 40 degrees. And now we are done. This angle, this entire stuff is 70 degrees. And this one is 60 degrees. 60 degrees? 70 degrees. Is this a coincidence? Now think about it. Now if this is just a coincidence for the special case, you can try these for other angles as well. For 50 degrees, 40 degrees, whatever angles you like. And then do it. Now, this is not a coincidence. This is a theorem in itself. Okay. It's known as the alternate segment theorem. And we'll look at why this works. Why are these two angles equal? And we'll prove this. Alright. So, let me erase this, all of this. Okay. And we have the same triangle. I'm doing the same thing again. And this is the center. And these lines will help in construction of this. And this. These are the radii. Now if this angle, we call this angle. Okay, not this one, this one. 
it means that meets this tangent which is known as let us call this theta and this one as let's call this phi all right and now we do the same thing which we did earlier this angle will be 90 minus theta okay remember that we subtract subtracted uh, 60 degree from 90 degrees okay similarly this angle will also be 90 minus theta because all of them are equal and this is an isosceles triangle now this angle will be 2 theta okay 180 minus you can use angle sum property okay. 180 minus 90 minus theta plus 90 minus theta so we get 2 theta now this angle is theta what will this angle be now okay you can easily see this is 2 theta this one will be theta so this thing right over here is theta this angle is theta itself so this angle is nothing but this one similarly you can do this with phi this phi angle you can do this yourself similarly this thing this entire angle okay this will be equal to phi so is how it looks you have a triangle you just this angle the alternate angle is phi and this angle is theta and this result is known as the alternate segment theorem and the good thing is this is not only valid for this special case so if you have a something like this okay this will still work That's the beauty of this theory. So as always, thanks for watching and I hope it really helped.